Little intro brings me joy. I giggle every time we do the high five there. I, that is really joyful. Yeah, to me too. it is. Yeah. It's a real the, feel good. The harmonica and the bop is. That wasn't on your list. Either. It wasn't. No. It, I'm well, adding playing it. was. That, yeah. that was me playing. That's true. Yeah, yeah. That's true. We're adding it. All right. This morning we are getting the word on the street with Doug Garrison. Uh, so in the last uh, segment we chatted just a little bit yeah. about your blog and mm -hmm. how you pick what you cover and uh, but what were the big stories that you or you know what are the big stories I guess that you're covering or any Thing, you know, stick yeah. out to you this, these, well, in the, the last the, year or so? The, the post uh, that blew up more than any I ever did was an open letter I wrote to Reese Musman, the owner of Upfront and Company. Ah. Uh, and it was 10 years after it had closed, and my, my appeal was get it open somehow. Yeah. And, and we found out a lot of people felt the same way. I mean, it, it blew up literally. Uh, other ones, though, are pretty obvious. The, the, the Marquette High School nickname issue is, yeah. is, is, is out there. The spaceport was, was good fodder for me for a while. It looks like maybe they've given up on that, although uh, I won't say that for sure until we know they've sure. given up. Um, anything that goes on along our lakeshore is, is important. Uh, governmental issues sometimes can be, uh, but they're a little dry sometimes. Uh, uh, but. Uh, and any time uh, businesses that come and go, uh, I, I did a review of Texas Roadhouse uh, yeah. last week. How and, was that? Well, the, the, the restaurant was fine. The, the, the blog was very popular because, yeah. you know, like I say, people like to know what's going on in our bar and restaurant industry. And, and that place has been very popular. I mean, you can drive by, the, the parking lot's packed all the time. So I knew that would be a, a good post. Yeah. I try to mix what I think is important with what I think is maybe just interesting or entertaining to kind of uh, keep everybody, you know, interested. One way or another, what am I going to find in this blog? Yeah. I try to make it readable. It's about usually about a five-minute read because we know people don't spend, want to spend a lot of time reading things, and I struggle with that. You talked about trying to squeeze everything into an hour. Yeah. I try to squeeze everything into a 1,000 words. Uh, and I end up leaving a lot out, but I know sure. if I put everything in, it's just too much for people to take on. So yeah. it has to be readable. Right. If you if you uh, put everything in, it still might not get read. Right. Just as if it wasn't it, in there in it, the first place. It, exactly. If it doesn't get read, it's no good. So it's got to be manageable for people to take a look at. See, I can I can go through that. Sure. So you're a blog post, not yeah. necessarily a news source. I mean, you Correct. cover a lot of what we might cover here on the on the TV Six News. I use you guys as a source. So yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So <laughs> so how can readers of your post ensure that they're getting accurate information? How do they know that it's oh, not just someone's no. opinions that yeah. they're reading a, all the time? That's a very good question. And and that boils down to I I I have worked in developing a trust between my 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 blog and my readers they if they don't trust it then it's no good mm -hmm. and I think it's taken time I've been doing this for what almost four years now mm -hmm. and I think I have developed that trust people can read it and go okay I know this is uh, I know this is somewhat factual pretty factual uh, I use words like apparently and obviously things like that when I'm not sure of something is a fact you can't always verify facts sometimes it's hard to get mm -hmm. the information but it is I, I put a little opinion there too basically what I do is I, I, I observe and opine I say I, I look at something I see what it is and then I I, I report what it is, and then I report what I think about it. Sure. And uh, so there's the news and the opinion part of it. What is your background? Where does that opinion come from? You know, you know I, I, I guess it's only because I've been around here a long time, and I've done a lot of different things, done a lot of different things with you. Yeah, mm -hmm. we have. Dancing with our stars yeah. to, together. And, yeah. um, and, and through different businesses I've been involved with, I've been in this area for more than 50 years now, worked here for 11 years. Uh, so I think just the, the the basics of having a lot of experience with a lot of different things in this market uh, qualify qualify me. I thought if not me, who who you yeah. know, who, who else is better qualified for it? Yeah. I, I'm not necessarily a trained journalist, but I'm working on that. I was an English major in college, so I should be able to figure that out. Sure. So at the end of the day, you have a blog. Yeah. You have to make money to yeah. keep that blog going. Yeah. But it, do you have this underlying hope that maybe you're going to help the community move forward, help help residents uh, stay informed, or kind of what is your underlying goal with it? Uh, you know, I, I'm I'm not trying to change the world, uh, but I I try to give people I try to give both sides of a story one way or another, and then let people decide on their own. But yeah. if I can fairly present both sides, and I I tell people too, if I'm reporting about things that you're doing and you don't think I'm fair let me know I want to be fair sometimes it's going to be critical I'm not always going to be be uh, you know complimentary of what you're doing uh, but as long as it's fair I'm, I, I can live with that yeah. and and my uh, hopefully my readers can accept that too all right well let's take another break and we'll are we playing a game next I think 
We might be playing next a game segment. with next. We're gonna we're gonna put his skills to the test. I want to play a game. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Good. That's part of being on the show, by the okay. way. Okay. Right. <laughs> being thrown into these crazy games. We'll be right back. <laughs>